Hey guys, I hope everyone is having a fantastic start to their day. Wanted to hop on and tell you guys this. So often we are asking God to fix whatever that thing is in our personal lives. And so often that thing represents something in the natural that we are believing God for. You know, a lot of times we're praying, God, I pray that you would send me the right job. I pray that you would send me that child I've been praying for. I pray that you would send me that spouse that I really want in my life. I pray that you would send me this home that I'm believing for, this car that I'm believing for, you know, pick an area, right? A lot of times our prayers will look like that. And, you know, we will spend all of our time petitioning God for things, but we will spend less time bringing our hearts before the Lord and saying, God, what do you want to show me? in my personal life, right? What do you want to work on on the inside of me? And a lot of times our brains function so differently from God, right? His ways are beyond our ways, right? It's outside of our understanding. And so a lot of times we think that the route to get to our destination is point A to point B, right? You know, we think that God, why don't you just give me this thing that I'm praying and believing for? Why don't you just speed stuff up, God? And why don't you just help me to receive this right now? And God's going, because there's this area of your heart right here that if you didn't let me address this thing and I tried to give you this promise, you would abort it as soon as I tried to give it to you. And so God in his love, his mercy, and his grace will sometimes hold us back a little bit from receiving things that he wants to give us even more than we want to receive them, right? Um, but sometimes he will hold us back because he knows the areas of our life that have to have a little bit more of a foundation before we can receive greater blessing and promises in our personal lives, right? I wanted to read you a scripture today. This is Matthew six thirty three. It says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all of these things shall be added unto you, right? You know, so a lot of times we go into a God time, we go into a prayer time and we've got an agenda, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that. God wants to hear our petitions and our requests, right? Right? But how many of you guys have noticed if you're in a worship service or in a personal prayer time with the Lord, a lot of times he'll change the conversation a little bit on you and he'll start to go, I want to work on healing this area of your heart that's wounded. I want to work on addressing this area of trauma, right? I want to talk to you about this other thing over here that I'm trying to do in your life, right? And when we open ourselves up to saying, God, have your way, work on what you want to work on on the inside of me. God, yes, I have these requests, but God, I pray that you would have your way, right? When we open ourselves up and when we seek God for who he is first, and when we say, God, you do what you want to do in this time in my life, all of the things that we are believing for, we actually expedite and speed up our process sometimes to being able to receive the good gifts and the things that God has for us when we submit to his will and his way, because we're focusing on him first and foremost. We're saying, God, have your way in my life, no matter what that looks like, right? You know, but when we are unwilling to open up in that place and allow him to work on stuff that maybe doesn't logically make a lot of sense to us, right? Um, you know, we hinder our progress a lot of the time. Amen. So I just want to encourage you guys today. If God is asking to touch an area of your life, or if he's asking you to be obedient in an area of your life that seems so little and insignificant or simple, I want to tell you guys that very thing you have been ignoring or pushing to the side and not letting him touch could be the key to your breakthrough. Don't ignore it this week. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll chat with you again soon.